Greetings everybody, hello and welcome. This is the War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave XVS Championship the Wizette Cup. My name is Justin, and of course, we have the always lovely Aron J with us to do his legendary shout -out. Hello, I'd like to point out that my tie today is the same color as Justin's hoodie. So we have coordinated our outfits today, perfectly. <laughs> we wanted to cover the map a bit, so these are the match rules that we're going to be watching today during the tournament. Single elimination tournament, auto only. The speed is going to be 1.5 times. The initial placement is going to be allowed. No changes to the formations or composition or everything after the players have loaded in. The referees are checking that. This is going to be happening on the Snowy Mountains food map. This is the full bracket. We're looking at the top eight. It looks like this. A lot of these names are familiar, like very familiar names. Yes, we're going to be jumping into Jeff, E, and Rufio at the beginning. You know what, Perrine, a lot of single target attacks from Perrine. A lot of single target DPS in there. And Ed's about to go down, I think. Bloodsword, yeah, Bloodsword. Ed gets popped. So initial <laughs> placement was a big deal this time. So maybe it's one of those things where full life misses, but regular raise ends up landing. We'll have to see. Enhancing Blade's going to come out from Miranda. She's down to very low uh, AP now. Oh, man, that's that's not great for Blade. He's going to go down. Bart's with his second kill of the match. All of a sudden, it's Perrine versus three without a Blade to back her up. It's looking like Jeff probably has this in the bag. The preemptive counter not quite enough to tank Eaglebert down. Vortex Kick's going to follow that up. It does take down Bart's. Engelbert will get lapped, but Perrine's out of a take him down, Engelbert. <laughs> Is he going to summon for it? He's going to go retribution drain, uh, 4702. Perrine goes down, Jeff wins, and Jeff will move on to the semifinals. GG, way to go, Jeff. Okay, so two names I definitely know. Hiso and Cloud. Oh, thank you, Cloud. <laughs> There's my Elia. Okay. That's probably three max reincarnated dark units right there. <laughs> now, here we go. This is an interesting little thing, though. This map is not very deep. Like, it's not very long across. So notice that Eliza immediately got out there and dropped damage on the group. And then Eliza's going to fall. Like, that's a dead Fina. They just blitzed Fina right there. And Curry, as one of those MR... Oh, wait. Okay. Doesn't matter how good you are, Curry. Reflex is part of the thing. Um, so... The tank, Leela the tank, being the slowest character in this game, was not given an opportunity to tank. She just had to stand there and watch almost her whole team die. In fact, it probably would have been her whole team die if Sephiroth wouldn't have reflexed. But because he did reflex, he turns around and one-shots the entire enemy team with Hell's Gate. Now, he dies through this attack. No, he has courage. Okay, so it just gets popped. Alien Onslaught no, will kill popped. Kiso picks up the Wish win. Congratulations. So we're moving Correct. right along here. We got the next room set up. We've got <laughs> Setzer here from the USA. One thing about Slime, besides being a 20% win rate evasion unit, it does have a lot of really good support abilities that it can do, like heal. Ed has not been very lucky today when it comes to being revived. However, the Vortex Kick is big damage. 289 left on Stern. He tries to hit Perrine. She preemptively counterattacks him, though. Knocks him down. Pops the re-race. But watch the CT bar for Stern. Slime's up next. What's Slime gonna do? Gonna go hustle dance. Give Perrine and himself a little bit of that HP back. And then he runs away. That's very smart. Very big AI move right there from Slime. Vortex Cake. This is probably a double kill. Yeah, Miranda and Stern both drop. Slime support really showing off here. Perrine punches uh, Engelbert, Courage popped, Retribution Drain comes out, Engelbert will heal himself, but uh-oh, here it comes, Zap, <laughs> paralyzed, paralyzed Engelbert gets paralyzed, 48-19, <laughs> Perrine takes him down, and Shadow picks up the win, GG Shadow. And honestly, that was a 1.5 versus 3 right there. Does Serebu win this match and put himself on the path to another Grand Finals where he can try to finish first instead of second? Maybe. This is crazy. Now, this is either some like actual 4D chest from Zeus right here, where he like was like, look, on my use, we're gonna move up. They have, they can't jump up on that cliff. Now, here you go. Valade gets the buff, and then he casts Zombie Transformation. This Valade is insane. We don't, nobody knows what he's doing. Now, Reagan will finish off Roth. So Roth goes down. Leela, though, could potentially finish off Reagan if she has the damage. She steps up, she's gonna do a silencing spell. That's enough. 3,100 damage will put Reagan down. I like Sephiroth Leela, unless, 
Oh, it's been a rough day for Full Life. It's been a rough day for Full Life. It is Sephiroth's turn. He's back at 37, uh, 37 AP. He will hit both of them. Valaid gets popped. So down goes Valaid, but re-raise. Remember when he cast that earlier? I kind of do. Unless Sephiroth's out of AP again, which he is. But guess what? Does it cost any AP? A summon. There you go. Multi-hit attack. Although, guess what? Guess what? Not only did that not kill anybody, it also did not generate any more AP for yourself. So, Ferris will slap Leela down. Leela comes back with a re-raise. A lot of re-raises in this fight. Leela, silencing spell. There's the double kill we all knew was coming. Leela with the silencing spell, double kill. Sarah Boo picks up the win. GG. Let yeah, me throw yeah. the bracket up here. We're going to be jumping into Jeff and Hiso Hiso. Jeff's team over here <laughs> with the Dialdo. Meanwhile, Hiso's just bringing out the Mashery again. Void Crash from Dialdo. This is something that if you've been playing Dialdo recently, he loves to cast his Limit Break. It will give him a little bit of sustain through Regenerate. And it does decent damage. Gives him that unit attack resist. He's got a lot of AoE resist. He's got a lot of magic resist. He's got a lot of single target resist. Here comes the magic AoE limit break from Mashari. Let's see what kind of damage this does. And there you go. Not very much to deal though. Unfortunately for Bradley, he was caught up in that. And now he's going to take Calculated Rin and Bradley goes down. Dialdo's out here doing Dialdo things. Sometimes it doesn't matter if your King Bradley goes and stands next to him and ends up dead. Now, Kiso's Bradley does the ultimate Bradley thing and just pops CT up and gets to go two times out of three. And look, guess what? Bradley's going to go for the third time in four and five turns. Assault Blade comes out. Not even Super Steroid Balo can survive Bradley. And Hiso Hiso picks up the win. We'll move on to the finals. Yep. Bradley is a good unit. Hiso is the winner, so he will be moving on to the finals here. We've got another semi-final match coming up very soon. Serbu and Shadow. Anyway, Air dude, Justin, it's your girl. It's Aerith, Perrine Aerith Uni. Here's Perrine. Is she in range yet? Nope. Just nobody was in range yet. Now, Hell's Gate from Sephiroth. 56, 73 damage to Perrine. Roth's going to move forward. Double destruction. Uni can take a hit or two. Okay, look, I got to say, look, like, I think it's a really cool thing to bring Aerith out here. And I don't even hate the idea, honestly. And that's what you're seeing. She could have gone out and healed Perrine right there. Maybe Perrine's still alive. Maybe the fight's a little bit different at that point. I don't know. But she didn't. Uni, well, it's Evasion Uni, though. She's dodging the limit break right there from Rob. Uni's unkillable. She's reflexing everything. Now, Leela does take a hit. And it's a decent hit. Uni actually hits her pretty hard. Uh, no. Aerith is magic damage. And that's a Leela. What's Aerith? Ah, Aerith's not healing. She's not killing anybody. She's going to heal Uni a little bit. Sephiroth comes in with Spirit Breaker. And Uni didn't need that heal because Uni was one shot by Sephiroth. Well, oh. here we go. Telerik Fury, Ooh. three hits from Sephiroth will take Aerith down. To be fair, it's I'll two it more to than you. it took in the original game. Serabu picks up it. the win. GG Serabu, good win. Because this is auto, both of these players have already qualified for the grand finals. So, yes. here we go. Both players will have a chance to uh, play each other again or other players again no matter what. So, Hiso bringing out the Earth team. Serabu bringing out the Dark team. Serabu doing a little initial placement here. The Earth team is grouped. Sephiroth is going to get a chance to do AoE damage. His specialty right here, he's got Balo still to worry about. He's going to step up, go Hell's Gate. Mashery and Balo will be the targets. Balo's HP bar reaches zero. Balo goes down into the double destruction from Roth. Queen Mashery will also go down. Does she still have re-raise? Yes, she does. She will come back. Leela, Roth, Sephiroth still alive, but... Bradley, crucially, sitting there with a whole lot of HP left and a whole lot of anger. Mashari gets to go again. What is this CT for Mashari, though? She's got speed on her side. She takes down Roth, who has re -raise. So all the re at this point, I believe, are popped. It's Sephiroth's turn. He's got two targets. They're next to each other. He specializes in this sort of thing. Hell's Gate comes out. 6,800 on Mashari. She goes down. Bradley goes down to about 5-10%, but guess what? CT up. Roth <laughs> is channeling a spell right in front of Bradley, but this time Bradley has no AP. He will be released from life by Roth. That is a win. Surabu picks it up. GG. That is the second place winner from the very first tournament you and I ever did together. Our little boy's all grown up. He's first place winner now. <laughs> so there we go. Yes, indeed. Congratulations, Surabu. Very good showing. Very soon we're going to be interviewing Surabu on the line here. Surabu, hello. Hi. Second place one time. 
first place the next time. The little little guys all grown up, just like you said. That's right. The little <laughs> boys all grown up. <laughs> yeah. If you like the PvP tournaments and you want to see them continue, make sure to register and to uh, to get involved. We're into this, and we want it to continue. Well, congratulations again on your win. Definitely. Thanks a lot. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks, you guys, for uh, hosting on again. Thank you very much for taking the time to do the interview with us. Cheers, guys. Have a great night. Cheers. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in today. We will see you as part of the Ovis Cup. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream of the official PvP championship, the War of Divisions, Final Fantasy Brave XV, the Ovis Cup. My name is Justin. I'm the community manager for the game. And of course, Aron J joining us today. <laughs> hey, excited for another official match. We've got some info to get through before we dive into the matches today. So refresher here on the match rules for the manual tournaments. So this is a single elimination tournament, auto off, of course. The speed is 1.5 times. Um, initial placement is, of course, allowed. <laughs> Pass limit is 230 and it must include at least one MR or lower rarity unit. So let's take a look at the bracket here. We've had eight participants today. So we've got our first two participants here. We've got Air Schmelt and Choco. And look, we are going to see Summer Glacella. We're actually gonna see two tanks right here. We know Lilith is in range from that spot right there. She can hit Uni. Uni will now stand there and die. Okay, check this out. The max range on Aerofall, which nullifies haste uh, and CT change is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's range eight. That's insane. But does it choose to do that? It only costs 25. Mott one shot him. Now, Mott has a choice to make here. He could try to wake up his friends, but he's not going to do that because one rock to the face will actually just kill Miranda. That does have the damage to at least kill her or kill Bradley, but Bradley with Courage online, killing him once doesn't really matter. Ebb and Flow Barrier comes out, Physical Shield online. This is the last turn, no matter what. The Earth team is already won at this point, unless Glassy AOE reaction ability double kills the enemy team. But she doesn't have that skill, and so that's the problem right here. Killer Drain Blade, 1891. She does block it with her shield, but the Earth team does pick up the win. GG. Very well done on Erish. Congratulations. You will be moving on to the finals here. So here's the current bracket. Uh, we had a no-show. Method did not show up. So ID Frenzy is going to be proceeding to the final. Um, as you can see, we've got Erish Melt versus ID Frenzy. And, and you know what? You know what Frenzy did is he went to his tank comp. He went to the Dialdo Galzak team. It got him a win once, mm -hmm. but I don't think, like, again, Dialdo, you can't really immobilize Dialdo, so that's a thing. It, okay, actually, if anybody in the game could immobilize Dialdo, it's Lilith. Okay, we've seen this movie before. Lilith <laughs> is going to step forward looking to finish somebody off. She goes Drain Charge onto the Galzak. That will kill him, and it will give her a lot of HP back, which is nice. So, okay, 2v3. And one of those two is a very low HP Dialdo. Does Bradley go for the Lilith or the Dialdo? He goes for the Dialdo. That's a kill. Dialdo down CT up for Bradley. Other Lilith is on the hunt. She's going to counter <laughs> with her own immobilizing move right here. So here we go. Do to do to do. One frame at a time. And 2508 damage. Not a ton of damage right there. But guess what? Immobilized. Lilith. Okay. She steps back. She's going to step one square higher. Armor break Ooh. arrow. There's I, the big damage. It. There's the kill. And Eresh picks up the win. GG Eresh. Congratulations, sir. You have qualified for the grand finals in December. Congratulations. Lilith carried you the whole way, man. Uh, we'll be doing an interview with Eresh here very shortly. Hello. Hello. Eresh, congratulations on that first place win. And congratulations on convincing the whole world that Summer Lilith is an incredibly good unit. <laughs> that was my god. You're like, win or lose, oh, I'm just flexing Summer Lilith. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she's really good. I use her too in uh, my uh, GVG uh, team. So did you have like an ice missile team ready or something like that? Uh, yes, a bit like that. Um, okay. Planning to use uh, Valade as uh, my MR and Laura. And uh, mm. I had an Eliza and uh, Victoria too. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations yep. again. Well, that's going to do it from us today. So thank you very much for joining the Elvis Cup. And thank you to the participants. And congratulations again, Erish, on your win. Well fought. Um, it was very exciting. Thank you, everybody, for showing up in chat. Farewell and have a nice day. Bye, everybody. Adios. See ya.